actually because of my job it required me to use a particular software and then I just adopt the software skills from work and try to uh, make my writing uh, um, to animation because I write first um, I learned the software later on because of the, the day job I have you write about what? random things um, thoughts mm -hmm. I was yeah I was really depressed at work by that time so I need some I I don't know, just one day suddenly my brain just thinking like weird stuff and then after work I would just write it down uh, in, a, uh, in a blog or put it online for archive. I guess they, they are not conservative but strict, just really strict on um, you know things I do but when I grow up, they don't control me on thinkings or whatever. They just, they would be happy if, you know, I can survive. They don't really care like what I do or, or, or anything. Um, so that kind of support and freedom, I mean the support in terms of like, uh, they let me feel like um, as long as I'm happy and, and I, I have things to eat and live, uh, in a in a room, then then they would be okay. So I think that freedom uh, it gives it to me um, have less stress in my life. You know, they don't. You know, I'm 35 now. They don't ask me. You know, when are you getting married? You know, <laughs> it's a very typical question in Hong Kong. But they didn't. They 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 don't really mind. They don't really care. So that's good. <laughs> Jingsu 我很難受At first, I think the, the priority is that I feel interesting to explore things or topics like this. That's my first priority rather than, you know, um, the importance of doing it in life or for the for human being. Um, yeah, I think the first priority is I just having fun and um, I like to think about things like this, explore and do research on, you know, on you know people like playing tinders or you know explore in some like crazy relationships um, I think that's just like an interesting like desire for for me I think for most people right I mean uh, relationship love that's why you know the dating apps is so popular nowadays and uh, but I still found that some people would be ashamed of themselves if they play the dating apps. They would just, you know, post the picture of themselves, but very like like this or like like this, you know. Um, but it's it's interesting, like how people think um, about dating apps. Um, yeah. So yeah, I just think you know, taboo and the barriers. Is there for 
you know, you you just walk across it to think across it, then you know, just like to from the different angle, I think that's that's interesting. If if I don't break things like this, I it would be just like a typical love story, and so yeah. Well, because I'm not from the art background, so I don't know what artists mean. I mean, you know, sometimes it's weird. Like everyone, you know, some artists will say, "Oh, every everyone born as an artist," but I can see, you know, no, they 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 didn't think like this. You know, in some, you know, when they're doing a shows, I don't think they would think, "Oh, you're not an." Artist. They would think, you know, some people are not artists. So I would rather think, you know, okay, I. I'm not an artist. An animator, I think animator require more skills on animating and I'm not very good at animation. So my skills is not very good. So I would I I wouldn't say I would uh, I'm an animator. So but I really enjoy watching uh, stand up com comedian um, on Netflix or or on you know other platform. Um, I found they they're interesting. It's because um, I think my work is similar to to let's say the performance like two hours. I think my work is similar to that, not in terms of the length, but in that two hours they often you know put out maybe two hundred jokes, but different jokes make up like a. Like a story or, or things they wanted to tell the audience, it's not only laugh. It's not only like a joke. It, it must be something behind. Um, but the balance is quite important. You know, you have to make a joke, but the story have to you know tell something else. Um, I think that's quite similar. And also my thinking, my writing process, I think is quite similar to to the comedian. They write their script. Um, yes, because in my work I don't have like a particular theme. Let's say if in a movie, like a feature film movie, you see on the cinema, they may have like one or two topics to go in one hour. But I rather you know in five minutes I would put you know fifty things I've been through over months um, to make it like a timeline to tell. So yeah. <laughs> uh, challenges. I think maybe looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> That's challenging, you know. Now I started to write fables for children, you know, children for kids stories. So it's like a fable, like like a Aesop's Aesop's fables. So I started my own. It's called Wong Peng's Fables. Um, and I've done two now at the moment. I hope I can have a, like a collection like Aesop's or Anderson, which I can put in the li public library. <laughs> um, so that, that's, that's the thing I wanted to tell kids now, now at the moment. Yeah. <laughs>